Hello and welcome. My name's Stephen Dickens and we're coming to you live from the show floor here at the Share in Dallas. I'm joined by Eddie Chiliendo from Model Line. Welcome to the show. Hey Stephen, thank you very much. Good to be back in person. Oh, it's just fantastic. You can feel the buzz down there. Everybody's really glad to be back in person. Yeah. You, you can feel the energy. Yeah, totally. And, and look, I mean, I mean, this, this, I mean, share anyways like a, a, a family, right? So it's just great to be back, seeing people again. It's, and honestly, it's also just so much more efficient than doing all those silly WebEx and uh, what have you calls these days. Well, it's nice to be actually able to film in person rather than down the camera. Sure. So I know you obviously, Eddie, from a few years now. Tell our listeners and our watchers a little bit about what you do for Model 9, and then maybe just give us an intro into Model 9. Yeah, sure, so uh, glad to do that. So uh, again, Eddie Chiliendo, Vice President of Strategy and Technology at Model 9, uh, responsible pretty much for, for anything about, about the market, go-to-market strategy, you know, where should we take our product, uh, what customer segments should we focus on, where should we, you know, again, take our, our product strategically, and then also, and this is one of my favorite parts of the job, also working very closely with, with partners, analysts like, like yourself, and then uh, certainly also customers. So tell us a little bit about what Model 9 is doing as an organization, still a relatively new name in this space. Get us orientated. Tell us a little more. Yeah, sure. I no, appreciate that. So uh, we're not that young anymore. We're now five years uh, in the market, but we are a uh, mainframe modernization cloud company, right? So where a lot of other, you know, when you, when you hear the main, uh, word mainframe modernization, a lot of companies are obviously talking about, you know, moving applications off the, ma off the mainframe refactoring. That is really not what we're uh, here to do, right? We want to give the power of the cloud to the mainframe and bring those two worlds together. Right? I think that's a key distinction. We hear a lot about mainframe modernization, and as you say, there's these two camps. There's the renovate what you've got, and then there's the move off. I think Model 9, from the briefings and the interactions that I've had with your team, really see themselves as being able to position for, their, for your clients that ability to bring that modernization and that move to the cloud and really add some value. But so maybe just expand on that a little for us. Yeah, no, no, you're, you're spot on, right? I mean, everybody's talking about hybrid cloud. I think, you know, Model 9, we're really, really getting hybrid cloud done, right? So there is, in our belief, there's a lot of value of having, you know, an on-premise platform and having an on-premise mainframe, you know, for all this stuff that the audience at Chair knows best, right? The, the security, the reliability, resiliency, et cetera, et cetera, right? But there's also really good use cases for, for, for cloud out there, right? Whether it's cloud object, object storage that Model 9 uses in our, our Model 9 manager to uh, modernize tape infrastructure, right? You know, the, the hyperscalers, they're investing so much research, technology, intellectual property into their technology. So it would just be silly not to jump on that and use that investment, right? So again, we're using that in the tape modernization space, but we're also using it now in the cyber resiliency space. One of our, probably, a, if not the hottest product that we currently have is Model 9 Shield that, you know, takes your data, moves it into the cloud so that you have a third copy, you know, sometimes called Golden Copy or Cyber Vault or Safe Harbor and stores it securely air-gapped out there in the cloud. So that's kind of the second thing we're doing. And the third thing that we're doing is, we're, as we move the data out in the cloud, we now transform it into formats that are cloud native, right? Like CSV or JSON or what have you, so that data scientists in the cloud can use uh, AI and machine learning in the cloud, just a way to use any other data on mainframe data. And what are you seeing, the, obviously a lot of customers at the event, what's the reaction to some of those, particularly in the security space, that's come through as a consistent theme throughout the rest of the conference. What are you seeing, what are you hearing from those customers? Yeah, no, you're spot on. I mean, we've seen it here at Share, right? We've, I mean, there's, I don't know, there's at least five sessions that I am attending here on, on cyber resiliency and ransomware protection. So it is a very hot topic, you know. And I hear it pretty much from every customer interaction that I have, that that is something, you know, they have to find out and find a solution to. So, yeah, a, a, lot, of, a lot of great customer feedback in that space, a lot of great interest, uh, a lot of interesting projects. And, uh, you know, the use cases are just so broad. I mean, we just announced a partnership with Microsoft yesterday and Monday, where we're now offering our product, Model Line Shield, for free to, uh, to companies in Eastern Europe because they're concerned about you know, their data sovereignty, their data security. So they want to move their data out of their country 
into a NATO member country. And again, where we're providing our software for free and Microsoft is kind of doing the same thing with some of their uh, cloud object storage capability. I saw that announcement and obviously in the world we live in, that's a fantastic thing for you to be doing as a corporation. I think we can all empathize with that situation. So really appreciate what you're doing for the community there. What would be those three maybe three key takeaways that from we've got a lot of people watching these videos we've got a lot of people here at the show people that watching the online content what would be those three key takeaways that you'd want them to take away thinking about model nine yeah no i appreciate the question look at i mean share is not a is not a is not a sales event is not a, is not a trade show right it's an exchange of minds it's a you know it's around technology but I mean, you know what i would tell people to really really look into is you know leverage model line to to optimize your, your existing tape infrastructure that's really a no-brainer use case right as i said cloud object storage has gone has become so great really look into it the performance is awesome the, the tco of cloud object storage is great as opposed to on-prem so look into that and then once you have your data in the cloud right leverage the capability and turn it into cert copy right may use the, the, the hyperscalers use them as an air-gapped copy of your data on-prem so that you're, you know, if, if the worst case really happened and, and there was a cyber incident or just some other logical error, right, that you have that data out there in the cloud and you, you have that, you know, data copy of last resort. And then last but not least, and this is a real use case that I'm personally super excited about, right? I mean, you know, we've seen all of those statistics that say whatever it is, 55, all, all the way up to 75% of the meaningful corporate data is residing on IBM Z mainframes, right? And, and a lot of that data hasn't been tapped into for artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence, machine learning. So I think, you know, using my line for that, you know, get it into your cloud and then into your data lake and then use your AI and ML routines on it to find that data nugget of insight. I think that's just something really cool and I'm, I'm looking forward to see how our customers going forward are going to use that capability. Eddie, great discussion. Really enjoying being here in person with you. Likewise. Some fantastic things coming from Model 9. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Futurum Research live from the show floor. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much.